previously on SV Blown Away, we visit the original site of the Olympic Games. On our way south, we stop off in Keparitsia and find a harbour full of loggerhead turtles. The Olympics 2021. We had a great time at Olympia, fantastic place, well worth the effort and the VR goggles, can't recommend them highly enough. Once we left there we headed for Kiprizia, which is where we saw the turtles, and we left Kiprizia the following day heading for Methoni. Now this place is special. Okay, so this area was um, kind of owned and operated by the Spartans. Um, the famed Spartans who dangled their children over cliffs if they were deformed in any way. So if anyone's seen the movie 300 or there's numerous, numerous Hollywood movies about Sparta and Spartans, um, that's where we're heading. The entrance to the anchorage that we're going is just behind me and you should also be able to make out the Venetian fort and the Turkish tower. We're quite excited about being here, it's Mythoni. Um, the area is just steeped in history, it's, it's like walking back in time going around some of these places. And with the anchor set we're free to explore. at the bottom of the western edge of the Peloponnese uh, we've decided to launch the dinghy so we can take the dog ashore and I think he thought we were going to leave without him What are you doing under there? What are you doing under there? How can I launch this if you're in my way? Huh? You have to move, we're not going to leave you <laughs> You have to get out of the way Oh, no, and today is Monday the 7th of June we are about to go and look around the Venetian castle or Venetian fort and the Turkish watchtower in Methoni so this is the entrance to the Methoni castle you can still see the ancient carvings in the stones around the gate that's cool And this is why we couldn't bring Nelson. That's the fact he's mental. Three euros, closed on a Tuesday. I'll film it, you do the kaboom. No, you do the kaboom. You do the kaboom. You do the kaboom. You do the kaboom. The Venetian defence is down. Paid three euros, we're in. Alright, let's go ransack the castle. Hello. Hello. This place was run by the Venetians for nearly 300 years, between 1206 and 1500. It was developed into a, an important commercial centre. And Methoni remained under Venetian rule until 1500 when it was occupied by the Ottomans. It continued to be part of the Ottoman Empire for the three following centuries with a short break of Venetian occupation from 1685 to 1715. During this period, the Venetian engineers drastically upgraded the fortification of the city. Natural 
skylights, that's a mezzanine level bedroom, again with natural skylights. I think the estate agent had us over on this one. <laughs> In 1825, the castle was used as a base by the Turkish-Egyptian forces of Ibrahim during his campaign in the Peloponnese. In November 1828, it was surrendered without resistance to the French expeditionary forces of General Mazon. The French designed the modern city outside the citadel. In order to force the residents of the castle to move outside the walls, they demolished a large number of buildings inside of the fortress. Methoni Castle consists of two parts. To the south is the main city, enclosed within a simple wall with towers at regular intervals. To the north, which is the most vulnerable part of the citadel, its acropolis was formed. On the same side of the fort is the only access to the mainland. The castle has the strongest defensive works and is protected by a moat. Access to the inner part of the fortress was provided by a bridge supported by 14 arches. On either side of the entrance two large defensive complexes are preserved. Land. The castle reached its peak of development during the first Venetian period, the 13th to the 15th century. Methoni, together with the neighbouring castle of Caroni, were known as the two eyes of the Serenissima Republic of Venice in the eastern Mediterranean. The western coastal wall of the castle has an overall length of around 400 metres and is preserved at almost all its height up to the level of the battlements. To the south is the main city. enclosed with a simple wall with towers at regular intervals and to the north, which is the most vulnerable part of the citadel, its acropolis was formed, which is section B. Tour guide. Put your brolly up, tour guide, I might lose you. <laughs> Visitors to the fortress enter the part of the town known as the Square of the Arms. This was the centre of the commercial and social life of Methoni. At this central point, a Roman column of reddish granite stands, crowned by a Venetian capital bearing the date 1493. The north side of the Square of the Arms is bounded by the Curtain Wall, separating the city from the Acropolis. The gate providing access to the Acropolis is formed in the ground floor level of an Ottoman tower. Along the main street of the town, cross streets give access to the harbour, where the two gates, Porta Stopper and Porta del Mandracchio are opened. Along this main street two Ottoman baths are preserved, as well as the remains of the impressive church of St John the Theologian. Initially the cathedral of the city. During the Ottoman period it was converted into a mosque of which only the minaret's base today survives. At the south end of the castle stands the impressive sea gate, Porta de San Marco, leading through a stone bridge to the Bortsi, an imposing coastal fortress of the early 16th century.
is why you don't rush through the Mediterranean. This place is steeped in history. They loved our dog. <laughs> Stalkers. So this is the uh, Greek Waters pilot by Rod and Lucinda Heichel. We are currently in amongst the Greek islands. So we're transiting from here, left Cada area, Ithaca, and we wanted originally to come down here and go through the Corinth Canal out of here and then head north. And then we were gonna bounce around these islands during the summer months and end up somewhere down here. No real plans on winter. Because the canal is closed, we now have to come down here. So we've done Zakynthos, Catacolon, uh, we're gonna skip Pylos, and we're coming down into these little islands here with intentions of anchoring to sit out a little bit of stronger wind because we have to round these capes. In ancient times, this was the entrance to the underworld because there were so many ships lost coming around that cape. Matapan was the ancient Teneron, the entrance to the underworld. And for all that exists around the cape, it might as well be the end of the world for yachtsmen and ancient alike. Teneron is very nearly the most southerly cape of mainland Europe and only Cape Tarifa at the entrance to Gibraltar Straits is further south by 14 miles. How are you feeling about the entrance to the underworld? It, it puts a different light on things, I have to say. Maybe we'll offer Nelson as a sacrifice. What, do you know the name of the dog that guards the underworld? No. Cerberus. Cerberus. Yeah, there's a wind.
and the uh, Byzantinians and the Venetians found that the best form of defence is some little plastic bollards with a post and some cord across it because nobody can get past this barrier. Nobody. Nah, nah, nah! What? What's the difference between a hippo and a zippo? I don't know. What is the difference between a hippo and a zippo? A hippo is extremely heavy and a zippo is a little lighter. Where the hobbits live. This is Hobbiton. I'm not sure. This is just how things used to be. Are you holding the wall? Two get lost. I found them. <laughs>